welcome to another vlog. It's Monday the 8th of July. This vlog is going to be about my days without my kids because I don't have any kids with me. Yes, you heard me right. I have four solid days with no children. They are at their grandparents' house. Denny and I dropped them off yesterday and then we immediately went to the pub <laughs> and drank too much and danced and ate and had a wonderful time together. So now it's 11 o'clock and I'm just kind of starting my day. So we don't really know what we're up to, but I have some work stuff to do. But apart from that, I'm free as a bird. I can do whatever the hell I want. That feels really weird. And what the hell I want to do right now is to go book shopping because I haven't scoured my bookshops in a really long time and that's what I want to do without interruption. So I'm just heading to one now. Let's see whether I make good use of these four days or whether I just lie in bed, <laughs> which is really where I want to be right now. But no, we're going to be, yeah, do, do all of the things that I want to do. I don't want to waste these four days. Anyway, let's just go and grab some books. Hope I can find some good gems. <laughs> In Australia, we have battered bananas and battered pineapples. Does that happen anywhere else in the world? I'm not too sure. Honestly, these are the reason that you live in my town, is super rooster chips. Oh, they're hot. Oh, they're super hot. Oh my God, they're delicious. But they're really super hot. Oh, God, I needed that. just got home from the hospital for we waited three hours for an appointment anyway it's done now we've just grabbed some dinner and some ice cream <laughs> and have come home the good thing was that I read a heap of Boy Swallows Universe I have sort of 150 pages left which is really exciting it's very easy to read um, obviously and I just I, this is such a great book it's such a great book <laughs> So good. I'm so glad I picked it up. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I don't have to get anybody dinner. I don't have to put anybody in the bath. I don't have to wash any lunch. I mean, it's just magic, really magic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to bed and finish this off tonight, I hope. Um, my buddy also checked in on our North and South read and I'm excited to read that. Heidi from My Reading Life also checked in on um, bark skins and I have just a few more pages to read before I can check in with her but I'm just so consumed by this book it's nuts I love it anyway that's the update so the rest of my night will just be reading I'd say and sitting in bed hooray to that okay I'll talk to you when I finish this book hopefully later on well, I did it I finished a boy swallows universe by Trent Dalton it's five stars um, I'm not going to do it justice right now because I'm tired and it's late. Um, Matthew Sharapa and Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me have really great reviews of this book. Um, so go and check them out. I'll try and remember to leave them below. Um, this is this was a wonderful book for so many reasons. Um, it was set in places that I know, which is always a treat. But it was all about what's good and what's bad and Eli Bell grew up just in, surrounded by criminal activities his parents were criminals his babysitter was a murderer 
all of these things, but he saw the good in them and the good in them came out. They all protected each other. It was a really interesting study of that. It, it had a really racy ending that scared the pants off me because I don't read mysteries and thrillers or anything like that. And I was so scared. Um, but the it wasn't just like a plain story. It had so much poetry. It had so much philosophy. It had so many, so many thought provoking passages and thought passages and thoughts i just adored it this writing's great and um trent dalton can tell a story for sure apparently some of these things are autobiographical which just scares the pants off me that any child has to go through these things um but i mean it was just so such a great story this was long listed for the Miles Franklin Award, but didn't make the short list. So I'll be interesting to see whether I connect with any of the others more than I do this that are on the short list. And eventually the winner, I suppose. Bloody great book. It's an Australian book. I'm pretty sure you can get it overseas. Please pick it up and please give it a read. Um, it's, exci it's an exciting, compelling, mysterious, thought-provoking interesting challenging oh, great book i'm just so glad i read it i'm just so glad i read it okay so that's going back to the library how exciting so now um i need to pick up another book hang on i'll just grab what i'm gonna read next and drop off to sleep too these are my two priorities i need to get up to date with my bark skins read that i'm reading with heidi for my reading life um i'm really enjoying this book actually it's um yeah it's 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 not hard to read by any stretch of the imagination but it's you know set in a time and in a place that i'm unfamiliar with um it's set in a historical setting that i'm not familiar with all of those things so, so that makes it a little slower going but it's not hard to read at all i'm really enjoying it and today I'm also supposed to have started a buddy read with Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me and Julia from Julia's Book Time of The Death of Noah Glass, which is um, shortlisted for the Miles Franklin Liter Literary Award. And this was also long listed for the Stella Prize, um, but didn't make it through. So all three of us are interested to find out what's so great about this book that it could be on both um, prize lists. Anyway, I'm shaking because I'm so cold. Can you see that? It's really cold. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to fall asleep with these two books and curl up in my warm bed and I'll chat to you in the morning. That was day one of no kids. It's a good reading day anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I just did a book haul. You would have seen it by now. These are all the books I bought yesterday. I had so much fun doing that book haul, but it's really early morning, <laughs> so I look like this. Yeah, I decided to have a book haul, like, in my pyjamas. Just got out of bed. Anyway, oh, that sun is lovely. Yeah, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I had a wonderful sleep. I hardly read any more of um, Bark Skins, but... I just curled into a warm bed and, and fell to sleep after being so dissatisfied with Boy Swallow's Universe. So I'm up in Adam. I've just filmed a book haul and um, now I'm going to get a cup of tea and just sort out my day in my bullet journal. And then I need to definitely finish this section before I go anywhere and check in with my buddy. Um, and then also... Jacqueline checked in on our buddy read overnight, so I need to do that as well. So that's my plan for this morning, and then I think Denny and I are going to head out and have some brunch. That would be nice, but it's still really early. He's still asleep, so... Okay, I just thought I'd check in and let you know where we're at. Okay. I gotta get my computer clean. The shift button doesn't work. Can you get it clean? Yeah, just pull it off and blow it all out of me. But it used to be the U, and now it's was the end for a while. It's around. It's <laughs>
a day we had. It was wonderful. We just kind of got home. I got a lot of work done. I'm starting a business with a friend, so that means lots of work to do. It's not an exciting business. It's just like a bookkeeping financial control thing. Don't get too excited. I wish it was a bookshop. That would be cool, but no. No, no, no. Anyway, so yeah, there's lots of things to do with that. So yeah, Danny and I just kind of moved from place to place and ate and worked in our computers. It was lovely. Um, and we explored a little bit of Toowoomba we hadn't seen before. Anyway, so I'm in bed. <laughs> it's cold. Danny's out sorting out the horses. Um, and I've picked this up. This is the death of Noah Glass. This is on the Miles Franklin Award long list. Um, oh, I told you this this morning, didn't I? That I'm reading this for Jacqueline and Julia. So they've already checked in and I was like, I don't have any kids. I'm totally going to be ahead of the game on this one. But I just started it then. <laughs> so my aim is to get to the little blue mark and check in with them. And I still have to check in with Heidi on bark skin. So, so yeah. I think it's just going to be an afternoon of reading. I don't have to cook any dinner. Yay. Um, and then tomorrow I kind of have to get back into mum mode. Um, but we'll worry about that then. Right now I'm going to sit and enjoy this. And it's a mystery too. So hopefully it's well done and hopefully it keeps me reading. So I'm just going to hang out for the night and read. How wonderful. How very wonderful. Okay, I finished my part for my buddy read and I wasn't too excited, but it's lucky I'm reading with people that are kind of encouraging me to keep going. So we'll see. It could tie together all very well. So now I'm going to move on to this. Yes, Heidi, I'll check in with you soon. Okay, just a few more pages of this to read. I've got to get to the green mark. And then I'll be up to date, so I'm gonna do that now. Just check it in. so cold Wednesday morning. I am waiting for my reading room to heat up with my little heater um, before I can sit in there and read something. So I've come in here to start some of the jobs that I need to get done today. Today is the last day that I don't have my kids and I need to start getting back my head back in the game. You know I miss my kids, I absolutely do. It, if if I didn't have to do all of the things that come with having kids, you know, the cleaning and the cooking and the constant answering of where are my socks, then I'd have, I wouldn't need a break from my kids, but I need a break from the stuff, the jobs, not the children. I love them. I want them with me all the time, but they're, it's a lot of work. So today I need to start putting a bit of that mum hat back on and I need to clean and I wanted to have fresh beds for them and I need to do some groceries so they've got something to eat when they come home tomorrow. And then this afternoon I'm heading off to Brizzy so that's going to be wonderful. I just need to get through this morning and be productive. I also need to read because I need to fit in some really good solid reading on the last day I have before they come home. So while my reading room's heading up I'm going to attack my kitchen because I haven't cleaned a dish since... Sunday. Oh, it's bloody cold. Whoosh. Right, let's be productive. The sun just peaked through the clouds. It's the most gorgeous yellow glow, glow coming through these windows right now. Ah, oh, the beauty. Now I gotta clean. Okay, let's do it. My firm has been having a really tough time. So does anybody else do this? My mum always said to pour the cold tea into the firm with all of the tea leaves or into the plant and that helps it. It works on the peace lily. Let's see if it will work on this little fella. Let me pop my little biggest big thing here. 
and it's really happy. Look at it. Yeah. I love having plants inside that I'm keeping alive. I feel very adult. My kitchen is done. Yay. My cup of tea. And head into my nice cozy reading room. Hopefully it's nice and warm. spoken to you guys in ages it's now 5 30 in the afternoon oh when did we talk i was reading bark skins i think and i did and i checked in with heidi and she's great um and then i just had to get back and put that mum hat on and do the groceries and clean the house and do all of the things and then i packed up and now i am stuck in afternoon traffic on my way to brisbane so I am hanging out with a friend tonight. Her and I are very close and she's like just one of the most important people in my life and she's, yeah, we just decided to hang out for the evening. So I'm going to do that. So I have booze and we're going to order takeaway and sit on the couch and talk and catch up my last night of no children so I had to squeeze in a visit for sure <laughs> so yeah that's it no reading tonight um, and apart from bark, bark skins I have done no more reading today but um, that's okay anyway we will talk again tomorrow and um, yeah go from there Oh, tomorrow I just put up a book haul and one of my wonderful friends in the comments who lives in Brisbane suggested a really great secondhand bookshop um, which is kind of a bit out of the way but I think that if I get up early in the morning before I get the children I might venture over and find some books or so but it'll depend how much booze I have and how much bad food I eat tonight as to how my morning goes anyway I'll chat with you tomorrow bye good morning it's a beautiful Thursday morning I'm up and about early. I had to take my friend to an appointment. So it's, you know, 7.30 in the morning. And I've decided to find the bookshop, which I have found. And then I found a great little cafe near it because it's 7.30 and nothing's open. So I'm going to go and have some breakfast and then go and hunt for some books. I'm super excited to check it out. So, um, yeah, it was just such great timing that it got recommended and I was going to be here. So brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to go and um, grab something light to eat and then head to the bookshop. I made this deal with myself that I would finish the, first, the second section of the Death and Noah Glass because I have to check in with my buddies. Um, but... I just can't wait to get to this bookstore and I couldn't concentrate on the book so it's just open so I'm gonna go down and spend some time down here and I'm just too excited okay I gotta find it now I'm in an industrial area it's kind of weird oh my god jackpot Decision by our very own Britta Bola. Oh, so excited. Britta, you're all the way over here in Australia. So exciting. I wonder if there's a picture inside of her. No picture. Just a bio. Wow. So, so exciting. Oh my god, guys. I have to take my car up because I have to back it in because I can't carry the books to my car. Oh my gosh. I went absolutely nuts. I can't even, I can't even tell you how nuts I went. They had to help me put the boxes into the car. 
books are three dollars each i mean oh, here i'll show you i'm in a car park in a shopping center waiting for my children but i'll show you just the exciting ones they bought because i really can't actually remember these are my boxes full of books look in here Cover. Oh, it's fabulous. I got Pachinko. How good is that? Oh, I got my own copy of Terra Nullius. A few of the books that I bought I've read before, but I just wanted my own copy. Oh, yeah, the mothers. Oh, a long way from home. I had to take that back to the library and I never finished that book. Oh, I got another Bernardi and Shinodo. I got these Helen Garner ones. This and the other one with her non-fiction work. Really? Oh, there it is. True stories. And stories. Yeah. Oh, super excited about that. Oh, and I got my own copy of the Because, oh, there's so many gems in here. Oh, there's the nice, there's the nice copy of Pachinko. And she'd already boxed them up and... Whatever. Oh, I got Malin Bimby. <gasps> I found Swan Song, which I really wanted to read. So that was exciting. Oh, look at that cover, honestly. Got the fragments. Oh my god, Unsheltered. I mean, total gems. This is the one I'm most excited about getting. I can't even believe that was there, Britta. Oh, I got the bees. Super excited. I got my own copy of Sing Unburied Sing, which I love. Oh, and I got a heap of Elizabeth Jolie books. Oh, I got Warlight. This gorgeous copy of Anthony Trollope book. I don't know what those copies are called. Look at that cover. Brilliant. Yeah, Elizabeth Jolie, Elizabeth Jolie. I just went nuts in the Elizabeth Jolie section. This is, must be my classic section book. So cool. Cover. Oh, I jump all over here. I think that's all in that box. Yeah, so there is my stash. So I'm going to have to sit down and do another haul video to go through all of the fabulousness. That's it. No more buying books for a while. Um, I I had to though. I mean, I couldn't leave them sitting there. There's so many gorgeous books. It's just such a great bookshop. Oh, so glad it was recommended to me. It'll have to be something I do every time I come to Brisbane. <laughs> now I'm gonna go and wait for my kids and do some work at a cafe, but that might be the end of the vlog. It's been nice hanging out with you on my no kid free days a bit of readings gotten done it's been a lovely few days but i'm really dying to see them <laughs> uh look out for that haul and if you want to read any books with me let me know seems like all i do on my channel is vlogs and haul but hauls but hey a bit of fun okay nice chatting with you over the last few days i'll talk to you again in the next vlog bye everyone I love